How you doing, Buckaroos? How the heck are you? Uh, for some reason, I didn't get around to, to getting a video for this beer. I'm not sure how I overlooked it, but nevertheless, from Columbus Brewing, this is our Hop Legend Single Hop IPA. Citrus, this one uses HBC 586. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not familiar. Uh, but a single hop to save the day. Tropical, it says. Let me show you the can. It's at 7.6%. So it's it's a big mamma jamma. Using my Ohio Pint Day glass. Yeah, I happen to be there on Pint Day. How about that? <laughs> Timing is everything, by golly. And I almost missed out because... I forgot. I remember when I when we left the uh, the hotel, but then I kind of forgot until I got to the last stop of the day. I said, "Oh crap!" The because it was the only one that had the can display or the the glass display. You had to you had to order their their Merson, and then you got the glass. So I did. <laughs> I ordered the Merson and got the damn glass. Anyway, uh, let's launch it. Uh, they say tropical, yeah, a lot of tropical fruit notes on the nose. You might get a mix of um, pineapple, mango, passion fruit, etc. It's really depending on you, to be honest with you. Oh, wow, that's nice. Um, says tropical, um, and it's certainly there, but I feel like I'm picking up some citrus there as well. Some, some definitely some. Some orange notes. We're gonna call it medium bodied. It's nice. Um, it, it, there is a lot going on here for a single hop IPA. It, I feel like we're covering a lot of ground for just one hop, and that, that's rather impressive. Is it one I'd order? I bought this in a mix pack from Columbus Brewing. So, it, is it one I would revisit? Is it one I would buy? Yeah, I, I think so. It is very interesting. I like the body. It's um, kind of a deep golden, a little hazier than the than a, than a typical West Coast, not quite as hazy as your typical hazy. I kind of feel like I'm getting elements of both, both um, in the aromatics and the and the flavor. But it's nice, yeah, it's very nice. And no, I'm not really in this nice snowy cabin behind me, but, you know, trying to create a mood. We are closing in on Thanksgiving, after all. So, well, let's just, you know, let's get into spirit, shall we? <laughs> Got my moose jammies on, we're relaxing on a day off. Unfortunately, I didn't get to Columbus Brewing uh, when I was there. It was on my list, but uh, just just ran out of time. There were so many places to go. I just didn't get to all of them. Figured with five days, I had a, but yeah, it, it's still too much. Ugh. Drink beer made here. I, Ohio's got some great breweries, man. Um, Columbus has uh, Cincinnati, uh, further north up into Cleveland. I mean, there are just a lot of great breweries everywhere. We didn't get up into that Cleveland area. Uh, I kind of like to. We're considering doing Cincinnati next year, though, depending on if, if everything works out. And what freedom still exists next year. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see what happens, man. Uh, might have to have papers to cross state lines by then, but who knows. Um, I may be on a list. <laughs> Nevertheless, that, that's our goal. Gosh, that is a nice beer. I, I, I got to be honest with you. The more I drink it, the more I like it. It is really good. The flavors, the aromas, it is very nice. Mm, nice, nice, nice.
Mm. Yeah, they, they say tropical, but it does say citrus. So citrus and tropical, HBC 586. Yeah, you do get a nice mix of both. It's hard to believe it is a single hop because there is a, a lot going on here. You, you do bounce from citrus to tropical. Back to citrus again. And citrus for me, I'm getting mostly orange, but you might pick up some grapefruit, some tangerine, but I'm getting a lot of orange zest personally. And more zest than pulp. Or juice. So anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, I digress. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Hope everything is going well in your neck of the woods. Let's hope everybody remains safe uh, through the, the coming new year. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist, prolific beer drinker, purveyor of wisdom, and all around good guys like you.